There are broadly three main benefits of yoga. So there's the physical benefits, the mental benefits and spiritual benefits. The physical benefits are things like flexibility, mobility, you know, a greater sense of ease and comfort within your body and a greater connection to uh, the feelings and sensations in your body. So a lot of the time we live, and I speak from my own personal experience, live so much in our head and we don't so realise that our body is literally speaking to us all day in its own language, but we are so um, caught up in our head that we don't pick up on the signals and the messages that our body is sending to us. And through the physical practice of yoga, you will start to develop a greater mind-to-body connection to allow you to tap into the language of your body. And the mental benefits of yoga come from the meditation practice of yoga. Now, I won't go into all of the benefits of meditation because I think they're quite widely known now. In a nutshell, meditation literally will transform your mind. Um, So the physical practice of yoga transforms the body. Meditation practice of yoga will transform the mind. And then that leads us on to the spiritual benefits of yoga, which um, you don't have to consider yourself a spiritual person or want to practice um, spirituality. And I just want to make one thing clear that spirituality is not a trend. Um, It's not about the clothes you wear or the words you use or how you speak or the job you do. It is very simple. When we talk about uh, spirituality and yoga, all we're talking about is our inner core, the very essence of our being. So it's not about the clothes you wear, it's not about the words you use, the job you do, because it's internal. It is the very innermost part of your being, um, like the, the, the simplest part of a cell in your body. It is the simplest and Um, most basic building block of your being of our human experience and the benefits through practicing yoga as a spiritual practice or having any spiritual practice I like to compare it to having a surfboard to ride the waves of life with so you know life comes with its ups and downs um you know, in this constant cycle of, oh, okay, things are going well, and then, oh, no, things are kind of shit. And practicing, or having a spiritual practice and connecting to that inner essence, that inner awareness within yourself is like having a surfboard to float above the waves of the ups and downs of life. And um, I, that that's probably the best way I can describe it for myself. Um So I hope this video is helpful and if you have any questions, thoughts, reflections to share, please do um, share in the comments below because I love to talk about yoga so please do share if you wish.